Good morning, all. This is Peter Cruz speaking to you from Dubai, UAE. Market brief for May the 8th, Monday. Please do not be misled by the non farm payrolls and the unemployment data on Friday. Although the figures were much better than expected, the unexpected results gave gold a huge drop from the $2,050 an ounce level straight down to $2,000 an ounce, but stabilized around the $2,016 level on the close. The currencies versus the US dollar hardly moved, and the US dollar index actually fell. Now, this goes to show that regardless how great the US economic data, the US dollar will depreciate and the gold price will rise. My reasoning behind this are as follows. One, we have the US debt ceiling default situation. Two, you have recession fears due to inflation in the US. Three, we've got the de-dollarization by the BRIC nations and others following. Four, you've got the US banking crisis. Five, Central banks around the world are hoarding gold, such as China and India. Six, the US dollar index will drop below the 200 level. And last of all, we have Saudi Arabia selling oil to China with Chinese one. Now, all the above undoubtedly will depreciate the US dollar and of course will give rise to gold and currencies versus the US dollar. Gold could hit the $2,500 level before the year is up. That's about all I have for you this Monday. Let me share my daily forecast with you right now. Right, here we are. As you can see, with the non-farm payroll and the unemployment data on Friday, the euro is still at a very firm level of 1.1050 and higher. Okay, The British pound gained strength, so at a run around the 1.26 level, it's a good buying level. All right, The Japanese yen did not move much, and so Selling the dollar yen at 134.50 is still a good advantage. Crude oil came up quite a bit, okay, above the 70 level. So these levels are a good level to sell the crude oil because eventually that will be down, okay. And then we have the, of course, the Australian dollars that gain a little strength. So buying the Aussie at the 0.6720 would be a good buy. Gold, well. It's good for many because it has, you know, shed some. So at these lower levels below the uh, 2020 level, such as the 16, 17 level, it's a good buying level. All right. On that note, I thank you all very much for your attention. And I wish you all a very pleasant, happy and prosperous trading day. But make sure you have stocks, whatever you do. Like I always say, this is only my opinion and doesn't constitute any form of guarantee or promises of profits. Okay. But of course, please subscribe to my video down there. And uh, I thank you all very much. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye for now.